Hi guys, this morning I'm going to talk about how spirit speaks to you and are you listening when they're speaking? Is your vibration high enough in order to allow spirit to come through to you? So they have many ways of doing that. I'm going to give you a bunch of examples um, and then afterwards comment me, send me an email about how it's working for you. First way that they connect with us is through dreams. These are in no particular order. I'm just going off the top of my head. Dreams. Um, when I was first started teaching yoga, at least 15, 20 years ago, I was teaching at a small yoga studio, wasn't getting a lot of people, a lot of customers, clients, and I was just, I was distraught. I said, I know this is what I am meant to do. Where are the people? So after... I had sat by myself in so many classes, did my own practice. I got down on my hands and knees, and I got down in child's pose, which is the pose of surrender, head below the heart, and I cried, and I asked Spirit to send me a message, please, as to what my next step is. What was I supposed to do from here? And then I went about my day, and that night I had a dream. It was a dream where I took my little girl, I think she was two or three at the time, I took her to the local health club. It was at the ski resort. And I walked her right in there and I asked, need a yoga teacher? And they said, why, yes, yes, we do. Um, I woke up and I immediately got my daughter ready and I dragged her up to the health club and I walked right in the door and I said to the woman behind the counter, you guys looking for anybody to teach a yoga class? And she was so excited. She says, oh my, we've had no one teach a yoga class here yet. Yes, 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 please teach a yoga class here. They hired me on the spot. And my first yoga class, I had 42, 43 people in that yoga class. They told me it was the largest class they had ever seen. And it was the only yoga class they had ever seen. Um, and it was the largest of any type of class that they had had in that sports center. I continued to teach there for a year before it was time for me. I said, it's time for me. I've got a following now. I need to make my own way here. So again, I said about asking spirit to find me a place, guide me to some place. And I went to bed that night. And upon waking the next morning, here's another way spirit speaks. In that first instant that you wake up, you'll hear something. And I heard, go hang out with your friend Sally. So I went to the local pizzeria where my friend Sally uh, worked and she actually owned it. Her husband happened to be sitting there at the same time. And I said, hey guys, I'm looking for a place to teach yoga. I want a space. I need it. Just an empty space, a big empty space. And I don't have a ton of money, so it'd be great if it was inexpensive also. And her husband, Rick, said to me, did you check out that place right across the way here? Um, it's above the furniture dealer, uh, Green Mountain Furniture Dealer, or something like that. Go check that out. So I said, okay, I'm a follower of Spirit's Answers. So I trucked on down to this space, and I walked upstairs. And upstairs, there was about a 1,000 square foot space. It was filled with stuff, boxes and office furniture, but nobody was using it. It was just an empty space. So I went across the hallway and I knocked on the door and I said to the person sitting there at the desk, do you guys know who owns this space next door? And they said, we do. And I said, are you will willing to lease it out or sublet it out? And he said, yes, yes, we are. What do you want? And I said, I just want an open space for teaching yoga. And he said, great. And we're only going to charge you about $500. And I'm like, for over a thousand square feet, I'll take it. And I continued to teach at that space. He cleared it out for me, and I continued to teach at that space for about two or three years, and then I sold it to another woman who kept it going as a yoga studio. All right, two great instances where uh, Spirit spoke to me. At that time, I wasn't doing any, of, any mediumship work, but I was certainly aware that there was someone larger than myself speaking to me. Okay, so another dream instance that I have and, and a good way for you to have spirit speak to in your dreams, just before you fall asleep, ask spirit a question. 
So I, at this point, I can't remember where my journey I was, but I remember speaking to Spirit and saying, please, uh, universe, I might have been calling it then, please, universe, send me a sign in my dreams. What am I supposed to be doing right now? Um, I love yoga. I must have been teaching at the time, but it's not fulfilling me to the max right now. Send me something else. So I go to sleep, and I have a dream about me being on a train, and I'm serving people on a train. I'm getting them drinks. I got someone else a pen and a paper, and I'm just running back and forth between the cars, just serving coffee. Um, they were asking questions, and I'm, um, I'm directing them places. I wake up, and this is one of those early morning dreams, that the best way, the early morning dreams, like 5, 6 a.m., just before you wake up for good for the day. And I woke up, and I immediately said, what was that about? I was just serving people. Uh, ding, ding, ding. Light went off above my head. Serving people. And I knew my life was about service. Um, great example, right? Okay. Another way spirit comes to you. License plates. Um, Jerry Hicks, who you know is one of my biggest spirit guides here. He was the first um, spirit that appeared to me. When I'm driving in my car and I'm not feeling the greatest or I'm kind of kind of low, I'll ask Jerry, send me a sign. And almost immediately, this has happened more than once, more than twice, probably close to 10 times now in the last couple of years, I will get a sign via a license plate or a car. Somewhere in the uh, central region of the country here, northeast or uh, mid mid section here, there is a car dealership called Jerry's. Um, and the back of their cars all have just Jerry's on it, pasted where you would see the name of the dealership, right? And it's usually right on the left. And I rarely see them. I only see them when I ask Jerry to send me a sign. So that specific day, I was driving along, asked Jerry for a sign, and sure enough, a car swerves, gets right in front of me, and Jerry's was right on um, that side of the plate there. Uh, another time I was in a parking lot. I didn't even ask this time, and I pulled into the parking lot, and I said, I'm going to park somewhere different today. It was, a, it was a Target parking lot, a place I've gone to many, many times. And I drove and parked in this place I've never parked before, facing a different direction, and I parked right behind a license plate, a car with a license plate, Jerry's. This was the actual license plate now, not to the side. It was the actual license plate that said Jerry. And I, I just immediately thank Spirit. You have to remember, immediately thank them um, for sending you that sign, right? License plates, a really good way to, um, for Spirit to speak with you. Another way is via a thought um, in your head. Thoughts will just pop in. So an experience I had visiting my sister in Florida, we were, she got me down there under the ruse of, come on down to Florida, sit in the sun for a while. I said, sure. And, and, and she said, and you can help me like do some work around my condo. So I'm like, ah, okay, I'll help. Well, I get there and she asked me to pull up all the carpet and all the subcarpet, whatever that foam is underneath. She wants me to pull up the entire condo. So I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I could do that. So I start in on it, and I'm this, you know, probably a thousand square foot was her living room, and I'm pulling up this long stretch of carpet, and I'm exhausted, and I sit down, and Janice is like, just take a break, my sister, just take a break. So I sit down, and I hear my dad immediately come into my head, and he says, Donna, break it up into small pieces. You don't have to do it in one big chunk. So I said, great, Dad, thanks for that one, and I immediately got down and started chunking up the pieces of carpet into squares, manageable squares, and I pulled them off. Same instance down in Florida. I'm at the pool now. She gave me a break, so I'm sitting at the pool. And I asked Jerry, Jerry, I'm not really feeling your presence uh, this trip. I'm feeling exhausted. Can you send me a sign? And I close my eyes, and I just continue sitting in the sun. And I hear, that's his name. And I'm thinking, well, there's a couple people in the pool, maybe one of them in the pool, maybe his name is Jerry. So I made a mental note of the person's face, and I was going to ask my sister, who wasn't with me at the time, if this guy's name was Jerry. 
So I say, okay, and I go about just lounging in the pool. Five minutes, no more than five minutes later, someone comes to the gate of the pool, a gentleman, and he greets the people in the pool. Hey, you guys, how you doing? And the people in the pool yell to him, hey, Jerry, what's happening today? Yes, that's the way it happens, too. So I immediately thank Spirit for that confirmation also, right? Great way. Another way that spirit will come into your life is by a feather, a feather, a bird, a butterfly. Easiest ways for spirit to come into your life. These could be your spirit guides or past loved ones. Um, here's a good story. I frequent, when I want a book, I frequent a book site called abebooks.com. And they are, um, some are new, most are used. Um, books, and they're a lot less expensive, um, a time when I can't really afford to spend the bigger prices on books. So I'm looking for a book on Abraham Lincoln, and I find a real great one on his melancholy, and I purchase it, and it comes to me, and I open it. It's an older book. It's worn. I open it, and in the first page is the smallest of white feathers in the page of the book. What did I do? I immediately thanked Mr. Lincoln for his appearance. That was two years ago, and I've been using ABE books mm, 10, 15, 20 years. I purchased a lot with them. I just, this moment, it is, what, February uh, 19th. February 19th. As I'm writing it down, ABE books, I just realized ABE spells Abe. I'm speechless because it's taking me almost these last three years since Abraham Lincoln first appeared to me to realize ABE books, which is a site I frequent, spells Abe. You see how this works? I thanked Mr. Lincoln again. All right, I'm going to give you one more example. Um, oh, yeah. Ask a medium. Make an appointment. Me, or any medium that calls to you. I'm available for Skype. Make an appointment with a medium, and spirit will speak, speak through the medium to you. The way I do my work, it's all channeled from spirit. I get myself out of the way. Um, I love doing this work. I love my job. Just recently, I did a reading for someone who did not speak English. She spoke Spanish, and I had an interpreter. Towards the end of the reading, I asked her if there was anything she wanted to ask. So she speaks her question in Spanish, and I'm getting the answer. Spirit is sending me the answer already. So I said to the translator, you don't have to interpret. Interpret. I'm going to give her the answer. And I gave her the answer she was looking for. I didn't understand the question, but I stepped out of the way so that spirit could answer. So a great way, another great way for spirit to speak to you is through a medium like me. Um, you can get a hold of me through my email dboyle.medium at yahoo.com. Check out my website, dboylemedium.com. I've got a couple other YouTube videos here that might interest you. Uh, send me questions, send me comments. Uh, look forward to speaking with you again. Thanks for joining me. See you guys.